And it's all because of one word. Hurt and forgiveness. Mm. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Anger. Mm. You must be an anger person if you carry unforgiveness. Yes. Mm. You will carry a lot of anger. Yes. Hey. And rebellion. Oh, Jesus. And bitterness. Lord. And hatred. Mm. And revenge. And mur come on, you may not murder the person right here, but trust me to God, man. When you go one side, you kill them in your heart. You done them, done all the shock on the person. So talk to me, man, I like you. No call on me. He's a enemy. But they're not telling you to the face. So pick it, spirit. We want to be real people. Amen, Amen, church. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's good to talk. Talking is deliverance. Amen. First stage of deliverance. Amen. When you begin to talk, you're going to be delivered. Amen. 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 When you lock your mouth and don't say nothing and suppress it, mm, the devil lock you into a prison. And then pressure gone up every level, stages of sickness, that ailments that take your body. Heart problem, everything. Amen. Abusive. Unforgiveness, you will abuse people. Abuse children. Children come around, you abuse them. Come to church, you, you may abuse them in the words that you say. Different ways. Hallelujah. You speak in tongues, but trust me. I thank God when Paul said, You may speak in tongues. You may sing like an archangel. You may prophesy. Holy Ghost. You may heal the sick and raise up the dead. And that's what he said. But if you don't have charity, love. Oh, Jesus. You see, love? Jesus gives so many love that we have them go, people follow behind him. If you have love, persons will always be coming to you for a word of encouragement, for you to talk to them, for you to help them. Because well, the love going to pull them. It's a warm feeling. Oh, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. So don't worry about speaking in tongues. That's the least. Amen. We want to ensure that we have love. And it is the hardest thing for us to get because of our experiences that we have gone through and the wounds in our heart. It kind of shut out the love of God that we're supposed to possess and give to one another. Jesus. So the devil used our past as a weapon to keep us in bondage. And that is why I said to somebody that if you're going to walk with Christ, don't let your past determine your destiny. Let it go and move. Forgive and move. Amen. You must be happy again. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. So you be, become a slanderous person. Slanderous talk against people and you know, talk some dirty things. You know, talk nothing good. You have nothing good to say about people because your heart black. Unforgiveness not and a blood, you know, have black, black blood. A black wicked spirit. And because we need help. We need the teaching. Amen, church. We gossip, hallelujah. We always uh, talk about the things that we're going through to the wrong persons. So let me tell you, so I said. Spirit, no spirit. Uh, spirit, no spirit. If I'm going through hurt, I'm going to find you because you are hurting. But if the sister don't have the hurt that I'm can I don't want to talk to you because what you're going to tell me, me don't want to hear. Me if it talk. Amen. She don't want gossip over the wounds that we have for years. But the person don't want to talk about the wound. They want to help you to be healed. We don't want to talk to them. Yeah. Mm. Amen, church? Amen. So I draw, I draw too hard here, unforgiveness and, and, and forgiveness. So when you carry your unforgiveness on, this is what it feels it carries, all of this. Mm. Bitterness, hurt, anger, murder, maliciousness, as we just saying up there. All of the family lodged in your heart, mm. which is your soul. And your soul is the one that, that, that that's the one supposed to be saved. Jesus. Amen. 
and the soil, the soil is what uh, take in all the experiences that you have in the past. And you lock in your subconscious memory. There's two sides of the mind. Conscious and then conscious. Self subconscious, sorry. So everything you go through in the past, it stay in the subconscious memory. It stay there as a data. Yes, amen. Hallelujah. So what we need to do is to delete all the things that cause the wound out of it. Mm. That our soul can be free. Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It just can't go like that. We have to go and pray and fast. Mm. And discipline ourselves to do it. Because when you carry a self-discipline on your inside, then the Holy Ghost can work with you better. But when you are an indisciplined person and rebellious, the Holy Ghost can get a hold on your life to change you. Because you rebel. Yeah. It's too hard. You can't go through this. But when you are carried, if he's a disciplined person, then you will take talk. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen, Amen church. Amen. So when you carry discipline, then you're going to discipline yourself to let go. Mm. Pray and fast in self-deliverance and let go. Apply the word and let go. You're going to practice it. Because the word of God is what we have to practice. Because it is practical. Mm. Amen, church. So, with the body of Christ and the Holy struggling with unforgiveness and don't know that it comes from our experiences and cause a hurt in our heart, and we sit here and our heart is heavy. Mm. Why my prayer not going up? Why I can't lose things? Why I can't buy my things effectively? It's because it's your, your, your soul, man, as a and it is contradicting the word. Yes, amen. Mm, mm, mm. Mighty God. So the word ought to, ought to be effective when your heart is locked up. I tell you this, brethren, the devil cannot defeat a powerful person who lives and stands for holiness. But if you walk weird, he will defeat you. <laughs> Glory to God. Hallelujah. And that is why we, we, we come from Genesis where, 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 where Joseph was, was having a heart of forgiveness towards his brother because he could have hurt them and hate them and manage them and don't deal with them. But he said, what you have done for me, done to me is for, for later on. So we have to see positive. Amen. One of the, 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 we have to use comforting words for us to stay positive and be delivered. So when some things happen to you in life, and say, God Almighty, when I understand at the same time, but God help me to understand, because I know you are preparing me to minister to somebody. You are preparing me to deliver somebody. You are preparing me to counsel a marriage. Oh. You are preparing me to reach a single people. I don't know what to do, but God, give me the strength to go through this person because it's hard. And it goes right back. What you are telling God you want him to do for you. I want to raise the dead. I want to heal the sick. I want to preach the gospel. Then you will have to go through the process to get that anointing to raise the dead and to preach the gospel because it just come overnight. Yes, amen. So what you're telling God, I want to teach the people. You have to go through a process to get the teaching anointing that when you begin to teach, it don't look warm and dead. It, it is a life. So persons get deliverance as you teach. Amen. It sounds good to say it. Talking is cheap. I hear preachers say talking is cheap. But living in it is expensive. Very expensive. You get slim. Hallelujah. The flesh stress out. Because under pressure. Because you don't know if you give up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was a person that was so malicious. I carried to the grave. Hey. And as I said, one of my payback is, is when my husband, the Lord alone, my husband, for turn so. Turn him back. Praise the name of the Lord because I have to pay back. Mm. Hallelujah. Praise what if you understand me, church? God chose who we want to put you to the test. You can't tell God, use this person, use that. We want the easy part of the test. But God going to give you the person or the something or the place or your neighbor or whoever it is. Because you have to go through the test to get the anointing. Amen. The anointing, you have to pay for it. And the pay you're going to pay is to go through. 
Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. It is good to convict good gifts. Praise God. But you will have to go to the process uh, of what you convict. That you can get the anointing. Uh, that you can perform miracles, sign and wonder. Uh, sign and wonder for the believer. I think it's just overnight. Look at Jesus with you. They beat him. They mock him. They jeer him. They call him names. His own family reject him. Hallelujah. James, his half brother, stand on one side and watch him. All the way, all what he's going through, and never be a part of his ministry. But when Jesus Christ died, here come James. Hallelujah. Step forward and he talk about the tongue. He said, The tongue is a little member. Oh, God Almighty. In the king, none at all. Hallelujah. He's a little fire, but when he let go, Jesus Christ, the whole place burned down. He used to use that tongue against his own. Whoa. And you have to come and talk about it. Yes. So whatever you go to, you will have to come and testify of it. Somebody have to know where you're coming from. Glory to God. Paul was a murderer. Persecute the Christian. Oh God Almighty wanted the letter to go down a Damascus road. Because he can't deal with the Christian name. And he was a religious person. He was a man of the law. Hallelujah. He was well trained. He was a Pharisee. Praise the name of the Lord. And that is why I know for real that the Pharisee behavior in the church has been cut out. We kill the one. Because of it knowledge. Because of intellectual pride. Because of how you can dot your eye across the things. We put down Peter in the church. Praise the name of the Lord. When Peter is a real sword man. Yes, come on. When the chaplain is in the church. When the sword is wheeling in the church. We cut them down and put them to sit down. I have the Pharisees around church. Hallelujah to God. Because they can speak properly. They can dot the high properly. They can cross. 